Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, I appreciate all of your support. Whether you are a Soul Tribe member or a karmic lurking, we don't discriminate in views around here. We appreciate each and every view that we receive. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light always. Um, I return to source. I return to sender all negative energy and intent against you and your families. Um, whatever the enemies has stolen from you, it has been returned to you. And all evil plans, all negative plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled as we speak. With that said, let's go ahead and get into this reading. Okay, so we have the five of wands out here. There is absolutely some type of conflict going on. You may not be aware of this. For someone out there, there is absolutely a company or we won't call, I mean, it is a company technically, but this is more so of a COVID. And I saw these people in a dream having a meeting. These people are planning to come towards you, but they're going to come towards you with some type of offer that is going to be so extravagant. They think that you cannot afford to turn this offer down. What they are trying to do, the first plan was to send a feminine energy towards you. But now the new plan is for them to send a masculine towards you that's going to be like your soul, soul twin. This person is supposed to appear to be your ideal counterpart, someone you've always dreamed to be with, some, something of that nature. Whoever you can imagine your counterpart to look like, they're going to find this person to send them towards you. This is all part of a plan. This is a coping with people that do not have any gifts. Uh, so they do malicious things. These are people that are into like low vibrational activities. And these are people you wouldn't even expect to be involved in themselves in things like this. These are people in like high places in society or just in high places within this organization. But the things that they partake in, you would never guess that they're doing the, those things behind closed doors. So I will absolutely be careful with whatever offer you are accepting from anyone whether it's a love offer, a business offer, career offer, something like that, do not rush into anything. There are members of this organization that are going to be going to jail or prison for certain things that they've participated in. So I would absolutely be careful. It is absolutely a trap um, for you. These people, some of them are watching you. They've been keeping track of you in one way or another. They are contacting your coworkers families, friends, to see what it is that's going on with you. They want to know as much as possible about you, but even with all of the investigation and the probing they've done into your life, they don't know much about you. You are like a mystery to these people, okay? But they know that some of you have spiritual gifts and you are a light worker, so they are wanting to kind of feed off of you. They know that you are naturally abundant and you have access to the universe in a way that these types of people do not. So them uh, welcoming you into their chaos is going to benefit them more than it's going to benefit you, okay? This is like people or someone giving you some type of high position within a company, but when you go to work that position, people don't really take you serious because they know that you're just there for them to feed off of, uh, for them to steal your abundance and things like that. So just be careful. You may end up in a position where you're kind of having to overwork yourself, go bend backwards and all kinds of stuff and it's not going to be fulfilling but in the initial stages they're going to make it seem like they are doing you a favor it's like these people looking into each of you's personal lives trying to find out what it is they can give you that you cannot afford to resist whether it's finance whether it's love Whatever it is, as for me, it's nothing. I don't have nothing that you can afford, you can give me that I can't afford to turn down because I rely on the most high for all of my needs. So I am not, I am not desperate for anything. Not a man, not a career, not money, no matter how little of it I have, I am not desperate for anything. And if you live with that mindset, 
People cannot buy you. People cannot trick you. So any type of offer anyone is giving you, please be sure to read the fine print before you sign the dotted line because you might very well be signing your name away, okay? There is someone within this organization, I'm telling you, <laughs> there's someone within this organization that is bothered by the fact that they don't have spiritual gifts. This could be the leader of this organization, or this could just be someone that's prominent within this organization. For someone out there, there's a group fighting because you're going to be receiving some type of opportunity. It's like they've done everything behind the scenes to block someone from presenting you with an opportunity that is supposed to turn your life um, around, but I will be mindful of this person you're receiving this opportunity for from uh, Spirit is guiding a lot of you to stick to the path that they have directed you to stay on So if you are on a path right now where you are having to do things by yourself You are being guided to stick to that path. Okay, you are not missing out on anything You have not missed any of your blessings that are destined to be yours. You have not missed a thing Everything that is meant to your, be yours will be given to you in due time. So do not let anyone come in your life to gaslight you and make you think that you are missing out on any type of opportunity and there are the knight in shining armor in your life and things like that. For a specific feminine energy out there, the masculine that you are meant to be with is not coming right now. This is someone you're going to meet later on in life. This person is going through some type of healing process and you yourself, you are coming me out of some type of healing process but you are still going through some type of healing and recovery as well when you and this person meet you two your lives will already be established so it's not something where you're going to be like uh, uh having to rely on your partner for something or they have to rely on you you two will be together because you choose to be together but there is someone that is being sent in to gaslight a feminine energy so that they can believe that this masculine is their divine counterpart he's going to take on that persona very well to mislead you they're going to present you with a contract if you sign that contract you have trapped yourself okay so this is part of the reason why I always advise people not to be in a hurry for anything. Not for love, not for business, not for success. I'm telling you, okay? I am telling you there's an ulterior motive. You see this thing here? You'll be overworking yourself. They're going to work you to the bones. Like as far as feeding off of you, they will work you to the bones to the point where you will be like a... A, a skeleton of what you used to be juggling you playing you they're not going to take you serious this is the plan this is a plan for this organization to come towards you these are people in high places people meeting to come and just throw you off of your path okay because they know that you are someone absolutely powerful Thank you. Someone powerful and they want to misuse your spiritual gifts for their benefit. There is absolutely no benefit in here for you besides finances. And the Most High did not activate those abilities in you for financial gains. So if you have spiritual gifts and you think the main purpose of you having those gifts is for you to garner a lot of wealth, you are mistaken. That is not what those are for. Your gifts are there to help people in a genuine way, not for you to be a money machine because this is how these people see you. How much can we get this star seed to manifest in our lives? This is what it is. They know that you are protected and if they are in association with you, they are protected as well. So that means they can go out and cause all of the mayhem that they want in other people's lives. But because they are connected to you, they are protected from their karma. This is how these people think, but that's not how it works. This is how delusional people are out here, okay? This is absolutely terrifying. This is absolutely terrifying. So, yes, absolutely conflict. They're coming for a queen of cups. They are coming for a queen of cups to cause you some type of illusion. They don't want you picking the right path. You could very well be on the right path in life right now, but these people want to come in and cause you some type of mental conflict. Like, oh my gosh, they're offering me a billion dollars. I am just a YouTuber or I'm just, you know, opening my business. It's not where I want it to be. 
a, it's a billion dollar or YouTube is a billion dollars or my little business. Stick to your little business because the most high is going to touch that business. Actually, the most high has already touched that business so that it can prosper. There is nothing anyone can do to stop your forward movement. Every tactic or every trick of the enemy is meant for your progress, for your education, for your ascension. We all need to learn how to look at things that way. People will do everything they can to get you out of your energy, out of balance have you worrying and things like that. If I told you all half of the stuff I'm going through behind the scenes, you wouldn't believe it, but I know what's backing me up. That's why I get on here every day and I make my videos because I know the support that I have in the spirit realm. So there is nothing anyone is doing is going to do that is going to deter me from my path from nothing. I don't go to bed worry at night. I don't go to bed anxious or anything like that. I don't live angry. I do not have an ounce of bitterness in me. And that is because I, when I see people, I already know what they are about. And a lot of the times I know why they are the way they are. So I try not to take things too personally anymore in my life. So I absolutely know the powers that are backing me up. And I hope you all will get to that point where you will have so much trust in the universe to provide all of your need that people do not feel comfortable coming towards you to make you ridiculous offer because it has a number behind it that they think you cannot resist okay you are not for sale stand your ground i'm telling you stand your ground stand your ground you are someone of high moral character stick to your morals your morals bother people like this but that is the very thing that distinguish you distinguishes you from them Okay, so don't go losing your morals because someone comes in and offers you uh, billions of dollars or something like that. It's not worth it because that is the easiest way for you to fall from grace and lose your connection with source. Okay, you are not for sale again. And I think I've saying that repeatedly because it's meant for someone to hear that you are not for sale. Okay, you're not for sale. Th thank you. You and whoever this masculine is will be healed by the time you all meet, ma'am, whoever you are. You two will be healed. You two are moving on in life. You're leaving toxicity behind you. You two went through some type of horrendous experience where you were betrayed by the people you loved and cared about, people you trusted. But the two of you on your separate paths are sealing the calmer waters and healing. There are people also that were involved in trying to destroy you you each on your path they are running away from karma but they can't run anywhere okay but you two are healing and when you meet you'll be healed and ready for the connection okay someone is absolutely disappointed that this message is being is being uh, exposed being done i'm telling you queen of cups they're coming in to play you queen of cups they are coming in to play you there is an ulterior motive for why someone wants to force their way into your life and that's to juggle you. It's not a sincere offer. Someone's gonna come in and make it look like they're a business mogul. Like they have all their, their SHIT together, but it, it is an illusion. They wanna make it seem like they have endless opportunities for you, they do not. Whatever opportunity they're offering you is a sham, okay? It's a fraud. This could very well be, for some of you, this is not a real business, but someone is going to make it look legit. Stop being in a hurry to acquire things in life that take years to do. If the universe wants you to have it today, they'll give it to you and you will know who it's from when you get it, okay? If you have to do any type of trickery to get something, it's not from the universe. If you have to steal to have something, it's not from the universe. That is not a blessing. And that is a curse. Okay? But they think because you're a queen of cups, it is going to be easy to manipulate you. It's not. I literally saw some higher ups. Higher ups around a table having a meeting on how they could come towards you, whoever you are, to cause an illusion, get you off the right track, off the right path, so that you can join their organization. These are people you will not expect to be indulging in things like that. I'm telling you, you and your soulmate are mirroring each other. You're going through the same thing. Dealing with people that are not loyal, okay? 
this path, this new path these people want to offer you is uncertainty. It's filled with a lot of uncertainty. They're not going to help you when you step into this position. There is absolutely ulterior motive behind everything they're doing. These are people that feed off of other people's energy. A lot of the people in this group are trapped. They want out, but it's too late. They cannot get out. And there's someone, a group of a few people in here going to jail, prison for a long time. I'm telling you, they're getting locked up. Keep your distance from these people. Protect yourself. You're being protected by sources as, as well. But do not do anything drastic. If you get some type of notion to go somewhere, be mindful. If something is meant to be, source will guide you there naturally. It'll be like, oh, you're at the grocery store and... You know, someone, uh, you get a feeling to go to another grocery store and you end up running into who you're supposed to be with. Um, but if you get keep feeling the some type of anxiety or something like that fear, that's not meant for you. Because what's from the most high does not come with those types of emotions. Okay? Keep your distance. There are people that are going to come towards you now from the past, pretending to be your friend and things like that protect your peace. Keep your focus on your dreams, what you are working on. Let's say, for example, I do YouTube. My platform may not be a large one right now, so this would be the perfect time for an organization like this to come towards me and say, hey, we want you to work for us. We're going to give you a billion dollars. You can do whatever you want, you know, work whenever you want, however many days of the week you want to. But behind the scenes, they're possibly interfering with my YouTube channel. Maybe I'm not able to upload on some days. Uh, you know, my content is not getting views because they're shadow banning my content and things like that. Meanwhile, I'm working over time trying to figure out why my content is not getting out there. It's because these types of people are doing things behind the scenes. So then instead of me being in a positive energy and being hopeful, I start getting frustrated and things like that. And, you know, I'm coming to do YouTube every day and I'm sounding like an angry B-I-T-C-H in every video and things like that. Now you all don't want to watch because who is this angry person that's always, you know, yelling or something like that. This is how they mess with people's energy. So be absolutely mindful. You have, for some of you, you have some type of abundance that's coming in. When you get this abundance, Please keep your distance from these people. I'm telling you, someone from your past, people from your past want to come in now to reunite some type of friendship, some type of relationship. You are not interested. Keep moving forward. These were all people that were involved in a lot of you takedowns, trying to take you down, trying to destroy your career, your path, your life, destroy you all together. But because now they know what is due to you is going to be happening, it's going to be given to you, they want to reconnect with you because now they know that you are a sincere person. Miss me with the BS, as I always say, miss me with the BS. Okay? But there is absolutely an ulterior motive. I'm telling you, ulterior motive. This King of Pentacles is from your past. This is not someone new. This is someone from your past. This is someone you may have extended some type of genuine friendship to. This is not someone a lot of you dated. You two are too far apart for me, for this to be a dating thing. And you see the distance here. You are keeping your distance from this person because you extended a friendship to this person and they took it for granted. They may have betrayed you. Someone is a pushover. He did something he wasn't supposed to do because he had this karmic group in his ear to betray you. Someone was manipulated or convinced very well to lie on you. And now they want to reconnect with you. That is how I'm seeing this. This group has been up to a whole lot. Some of you, these groups have been looking into your lives in ways that you cannot even imagine. Interfering with communications and things of that nature. Uh, reaching out to families and friends. People you probably haven't even seen in 10 or 15 years. If you had a conversation with them in the past, you best believe this group contacted them in some way, shape, or form to get them to go against you. And they said, I don't even remember this person. Like, who are you again? What's your name? But this is how committed they are <laughs> into destroying you and knowing about you. And this is because they want to know your weaknesses. They want to know your strength. They want to know everything about you so they can know how to defeat you. 
for someone like me, I'm not defeatable. You're not going to defeat me because I am protected by the most high and always will be. Okay, there is nothing here in my life that anyone can blackmail me with where it's that if you don't shut up, if you don't stop posting, if you don't stop showing to showing up to work, if you don't stop doing your job, we're going to expose this about you. Whatever it is, you're going to expose, I'll expose it myself. For example, I'm a straight woman, but if for some reason in some lifetime or sometime in my life, you decided to say that I was shaky shaky with my sexuality or something like that, let's say let's say in some time, let's say for some time, for some reason, I was under DL and someone found out that I was under DL, right? And they said, oh, I know you're under DL and you slept with this person and this person and we're going to expose you if you don't stop posting YouTube videos and things like that. Honey, I would ask you for the microphone and the intercom and I'll let you know, where do you want me to announce it? Hey folks, this person wants to let you know that I am on the DL. That's how I operate. You are not blackmailing me in nothing. Okay, that is part of why I said I am a free being, free will, okay? You're not blackmailing me into nothing. I am who I am and I'm going to be who I'm going to be. You're not gonna control me. People are not created or born to be controlled. We are all gods within our own rights, okay? Some of us, we just have more gifts activated in us than other people. Some people don't have anything activated in them because one, that is they don't have a calling that pertains to those gifts, or two, they are not worthy of having those gifts activated within them because people like this will misuse those gifts and abuse it in a way that is just horrendous. That is why they don't have these gifts because they haven't done the work to elevate or to ascend. So they're living in darkness with a lot of secrets they cannot afford for the world to know about. But even though they have all of these secrets, they still want to expose other people's secrets. Can you believe the audacity? Honey, it's the audacity for me. Remember that meme? It's the audacity for me. Absolutely not. There is nothing I'm ashamed of in my life. And this is why possibly my enemies are pissed off because there's nothing you can find out about me that's going to make me say, oh, please don't release that. That's going to F my life up. I don't want people knowing about that. I don't want people knowing that I had a child at 17 or that I was homeless or I lost my parents. And I don't... Honey, do whatever you want to do. Do whatever it is you want to do. If it makes you happy, honey, then I love it for you. If you like it, I love it. But I want you to know at the end of the day, at the end of the night, all my sheeps will be accounted for. All my Z's will be accounted for. Because what? I know what's backing me up. I am not ashamed of nothing in life. Okay? I am telling you the God's honest truth. This is how we all need to be. This is the mentality we need to have. Stop letting people hold things over your head. Oh, you know you did this with me. I'm going to expose it if you try to leave me. Honey, expose it. Let me help you expose it, actually. Who did you want to expose this to? Let me call them. What's their number? As a matter of fact, they can have my phone number. So I can tell them exactly what I did. Okay? Who is the audience? Let me gather them together for you. Please. And when people realize that they cannot blackmail you, it's a tower for them. It's a tower for them. He said, oh, I can't control you? No, honey. You're not God. You didn't create me. The only person that can make me ashamed of who, who I am is the creator. And last time I checked, you didn't create me. You are a different representative of me on a cosmic level. But on this minuscule level, honey, you don't got nothing to do with me. Okay? That's the mindset you all need. Stop letting people think they have any type of power over you. Human beings are not meant to have power over other human beings. I'm telling you, you're independent, independent-minded, independent woman, okay? You are someone of affluence, or this is where you're headed to be. If you stick to the path the Most High has guarded, guided you to be on, you don't need to be associating with just any type of organization because it interferes with your connection with Source, your relationship with Source. There are certain 
organizations and people you partner up with and it will make your ancestor drop you like a piece of sh -I -T. you say hold on we didn't tell you to partner up with these people or this person we can't protect you from this whatever you're getting a part of this is not part of your calling get away from them get away from them and they'll warn you they'll give you a lot of warnings and if you still don't take heed to their warnings and you decide to partner up with these people because they have a lot of access to finances they want to come in and tell you that they have limited limitless opportunities and things for you for you honey your ancestors are going to back the heck up away from you that is protection you cannot afford to lose. I've had my ancestors protect me from things that I didn't even think I needed protection for from. But guess what? There are things they know that I don't know. Okay? So for every protection they put on me or they, everything they interfere on my behalf for, thank you. I always just say thank you. I don't know why, but I say thank you. Like I don't know why they're doing it. So I just humble myself and say thank you because they know more than I do. You all need to get in connection with your ancestors. And there's nothing like extravagant you have to do to get in connection with your ancestors. Heal your hearts, heal your minds. Learn to say thank you, show gratitude to them. That's the biggest thing you can do with the universe and your ancestors is by showing them gratitude. This lets them know that you are interested in having a relationship with them. So then they start coming in more and more to interact with you. Show them gratitude. Even if you don't feel their presence, just speak it into reality. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for looking out for me. Thank you for making sure all of my needs are met. Thank you for speaking on my behalf. Just simple things like that. You don't have to perform any type of rituals. You know, these types of people, they have moon rituals on uh, monthly moon rituals weekly moon rituals whatever however often they have it you don't need a ritual you don't if you are someone of the light there are no rituals required for you to be in connection with source you simply need to have a pure heart clean heart so all this stuff people do they have a hood over their hair every full moon they're slicing some type of animal's neck, animal's neck or something, drinking some weird substance they don't even know what it is, or laying with every and every, every each and every person in a group. You don't got to do none of that. As a matter of fact, that is the quickest way to distance yourself from source. If you are someone that wants to be in connection with source, this energy right here, this Queen of Cups energy, this is one of my favorite energy in the deck because this is the easiest way to connect to source. The High Priestess. Yes, she's all powerful and things like that. But this energy right here, this is love. And that is all the source wants from us. It's love and gratitude, appreciation. Your relationship with source is supposed to be a co-partnership. You are co-creating with the universe. And you co-create in this energy by showing appreciation. You do your part of the work and source does its part. All the universe does its part. Okay? They tell you, hey... Go to school and do this. You actually go to school and do it. And then they line up opportunities for you. That's what it means to co-create. Okay? Like if they direct you to do something and you do it, that means you're trusting them. And it goes on like that. I mean, all these rituals and being black male and things like that. Nobody, nobody has time for that stuff. If you have to black male me for it, keep it. I don't want it. I black male myself. Before you blackmail me. Like Cynthia. Uh-uh. Which one be this? My friend. Will you go away? Anyway, honey. This is the energy you're about to be in. There could be this king of pentacles wanting to partner up with you. This person sees you as Jane. As, I'm telling you. You're about to be abundant. You have a ten of pentacles energy. <laughs> coming towards you these people are absolutely upset because they cannot block this ten of pentacles for you this means that you and a masculine possibly this person from your past it's up to you if you want to partner up with them but you two are going to be building some type of ten of pentacles together okay and these people are upset that you are still receiving this this person is still coming towards you i will be mindful with this person the fact that this seven of wands is here between the two of you is alarming for me 
it is alarming. That means this person, there could be ulterior motives. This 10 of pentacles, you can still achieve it by the grace of the most high, the direction of the most high. There's nothing that's meant for you that you're going to miss out on if the most high has destined you to receive that. So whether it's with this person or you're doing it by yourself, as you can see, you're in the privileged lady energy here. You didn't show up as a queen of pentacles next to him. You showed up in your privileged lady independent lady energy which means that you are still going to receive your ten of pentacles so do not be in a hurry to get in a relationship with this person this this is here because this is how you two were in the past i'm telling you hmm there's something about this person you need to be mindful of be mindful people will come to you and try to make charcoal sound look like diamond paint it very well put highlights and everything only for you to go touch it and all the chucks the paint everything comes off and all you see is that blackness under there be mindful be absolutely mindful you something is being said to keep your distance from someone or a group of people or they are trying to get into your energy and they are being blocked and that's a divine intervention okay and something is telling me you are going to receive some type of love offer after you've achieved your legacy or you have achieved some type of abundance in your life so then you will actually be in a mindset where you can decide if you want to be with that person or not a lot of the times when people are living in poverty they will settle for any and everyone if the person looks like they have two more dollars than them they will say well that's the person i'm meant to be with this is god sent only for them to get in a relationship with that person and find out it's a nightmare. So focus on your path, on your career, okay? Like the source is guiding you to do. And when you get to a place you're supposed to be, the right partner will be revealed to you, okay? But there's something that's an ulterior motive behind this person. That's what I'm getting and that's what I'm going to stick to. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, ulterior motives, ulterior motive. This person likes the final things in life. Someone here likes the final things in life and you have abundance attached to you. So they want to partner up with you. They've decided to extend some type of offer to you or whatever it is, whether it's a love offer, they have ulterior motive. Look at that. Jumping out of the deck, jumping out of the deck. And it's like, no matter what, who, First, no matter what, you've pushed through everything these people have cost you, these obstacles they've put through your way. This is you pushing through, pushing forward, regardless of who's going up against you, regardless of what people are doing behind you. You don't even know what direction you're going in. You don't know if you're going the right direction, but you just need to keep pushing forward. You don't know what's behind you. You just need to keep pushing forward, and you don't realize you're almost there. You are almost at the finish line and someone is taking some type of calculated risk to come and partner up with you. They're not going to tell you everything because this person is secretive and has ulterior motive because they like the final things in life. This is someone that overindulges in things like that. They splurge on things they don't need to be splurging on. While you're having this new beginning, they want to be a part of it, even though they haven't done anything to be part of this new beginning with you. Okay, that is how I'm seeing that, honey. I may tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. Someone thinks you're boo-boo the fool, but honey, you were born on a day and it just was not yesterday. And you better use your brain. I'm telling you, abundance. Someone was playing with your abundance in the past. People wanted to stop you from being fruitful, successful, but you're still receiving your abundance. You have an open mindset and that is beautiful. You're not afraid of failure. Someone is bothered by the fact that things don't even hold you down. Like if you fail at something, you just wake up and try it again or you try something new. That is the mindset we're supposed to have. The fact that you try is what matters. And someone hates the fact that you have that type of mindset. Someone wants you to feel defeated. Like, oh my gosh, I opened this business and it didn't work. Or I got this job and I lost it. No, honey. In each of those situations, you learn something either about that industry, about yourself, something, right? That is wisdom you can take with you to the next stage of your life. Do not let 
things like that hold you back. Whether you see it as failure or a lesson, that is up to you. It's all due to your perspective, okay? But you have a brand new passionate beginning coming up in life. You are upgrading. You went from a zero to a seven, and that is by the grace of the most high that you are elevating like that. People are going to think it's an overnight success, but it's not overnight. This is something you've been working on, healing behind closed doors, Stay in connection to, to source and your ancestors, showing appreciation, actually putting in the work, right, to actually heal. A lot of people come out here and say, oh, I'm healed. I've done the work to heal. And then you can say the smallest thing to them and it triggers them. You should not be easily triggered if you are healed. You should not be easily triggered if you are healed. I'm telling you these cars. Yeah, I'm telling you. You have abundance coming your way. Someone wants to come in to trap you, hold on to you and your money, and they cannot. You need to ask source to keep out of your energy anyone with ulterior motives or bad intentions for you. Source, I ask that you prevent all your, ask your angels. I ask that you block anyone out of my energy that has ulterior motives or ill intent for me. Okay? Watch them move on your behalf. This is when people are like, I, I, I was trying to get a hold of you for a whole year, but I couldn't get a hold of you yet. That's because my ancestors said you weren't worthy of being in my presence. That part. That part. Because you have ulterior motives. They knew you had ulterior motives for me. And they said you cannot enter. They shut that door. Thank you. You have ulterior, yeah, this person knows you're genuine. Someone now knows the truth about you, but this person has ulterior motives. Ulterior motives. It's like now they want to have some type of relationship with you, equal give and take with you after they've embarrassed you and things like that. Why did that come out, embarrassed you? Someone did something to embarrass you. Like, I feel like I'm channeling right now. Someone did something to embarrass another person. Whether they said something about you, to a group of people or they said something about you to someone and someone took it out side of the both of them someone did something to embarrass you and they may be going through the same thing as well okay for some of you you are meant to be with this person and you are going to have to learn how to forgive and i can't tell you if you should or not i mean that's between you and the most high and that person Someone is trapped in some type of unhappy marriage. They are unfulfilled in life. I'm telling you. Hmm. Unfulfilled. I'm telling you. Hun oh, Lord have mercy. I will tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. This person has ulterior motives. They're going through some type of karma. They betray you, and now they are going through the exact same thing they did put you through. Woes, sorrows. Every time, listen, the pettiness in me, every time this car come out, in my head, I hear sorrows, sorrows, sorrows. Someone is going through sorrows. And this was self-imposed because this person went up against you. There's also a king of pentacles in here that you did nothing to, but this person has some type of vendetta against you and decided that it was their life mission to take you down, their life purpose. And that person is going through an ending as well. That, that's karma. But whoever this masculine is, whatever he put you through, I'm telling you, I'm speaking to God on his truth. Whatever this person put you through, he's going through. If someone chose another person over you and they thought they were going to be fulfilled by this person with this person, or they chose an organization over you and they thought this organization was going to meet them, meet their needs, it was going to be the bee's needs because they were part of something, only for it to turn out to be a disappointment. This person must not be taking some type of actions behind the scenes to advocate for you. We'll see how it goes. Absolutely, we'll see how it goes. Okay, hmm. Someone now wants to bring balance into your life after they spoke up against you, right? Right, shoot. Sure. I'm telling you, yeah, they collaborated against you. It is not, <laughs> it is not what he's gonna make it seem like. 
If you choose to be with this person, you need to make sure and tell them you want the 411, the 911, anything 11. You want everything straight. Like, what did you do? Why did you do it? Then, what did they do? But this person may want to come in and tell you what they did, but forget to tell you what he did. That's not how life works. Own up to your mistakes. Own up to your actions. That's why I say if you're going to be a B-I-T-C-H, be that in the public. Don't do it behind closed doors. These types of people throw rocks and hide their hands. Absolutely. I'm telling you, this person, mm, it looks like you don't want to accept any offer from them. And I don't know who this masculine is because energy is fluid. One day you can be in the king of pentacles. Energy, because you're feeling yourself, maybe you got a good job or something, your finances went up. Maybe now you want to have a family and settle down. So now you're in your king of pentacles energy. The next day you may be in love with a woman and now you are in your king of cups energy. Whatever it is. I don't know who this masculine is, but honey, he has some explaining to do if he wants to partner up with you. But I feel like this person has some type of ulterior motive that he's not going to tell you. He's also in the know that when he comes towards you, this is your energy towards him. You don't want to have anything to do with this person because you know they're not loyal. They are not loyal. They, they, they participated in something that had to do with either stealing a ten of pentacles from you or hiding a ten of pentacles from you something of that nature some type of inheritance some type of promotion this person had a hand in it and you the whole time you were in a connection with this person whether it was platonic or romantic you were genuine with this person but they were stabbing you in the back and laughing in your face smiling in your face they didn't take you serious that's what was going on you see how God does things? People will have their day to do wrong where they think they're doing the right thing or they have the upper hand because they have a little bit of power, a little bit of influence. So they think they can do whatever it is they want and nothing is ever going to happen. That is an illusion, folks. It'll always catch up to you. You always have to pay for your crimes. I don't care how long it takes. Sometimes God will let you live out your full life where you'll get to live and see all of your loved ones pass away. When you get old, you don't have anyone to take care of you. You end up in a nursing home where people are neglecting you and things like that. That is karma in and of itself. Okay? You're an old person with no one around you to take care of you. Living on your own or in a nursing home, sitting there with full us slapped all over your clothes. You have saliva hanging out your mouth boogers all up in your nose and things like that they probably haven't given you a shower in a whole month or something and that is a deplorable state to be living in as an elderly person that is not how our elders are supposed to be living but some of our elders are in that position because it's karma the things they did when they were younger and while they are sitting in that position they are thinking about all the wrongs that they did when they were younger is hunting them. So even sometimes the one that cannot speak, maybe they had a stroke or something and they lost their ability to speak. They didn't lose their ability to think. All of their actions and their deeds are playing in, playing over and over in their head like a record replay. Whoever said that, Rihanna or something, it's a record replay, it's on repeat. And it's just repeating itself. I saw someone within this group sitting in a prison cell when I said this person's cell was horrible, there was no bed in this person's cell. This masculine was sitting on the floor looking so alone and fragile. He has he had grown his beard out. It was touching his chest. It was like salt and pepper. He had a gray t-shirt on, short jeans, shirt, uh, short jeans, shorts, stopping above his knees. And this man looked so frail, so frail but lonely you could see the loneliness in his eyes he looked miserable it's not like anyone was harming him but it looked like he was sitting and thinking reminiscing about everything he had done in his life and he thought he had gotten away with it i'm telling you source is the best at giving people revenge on your behalf so do not take anything into your own hands when people wrong you and they think they've gotten away with it, let them get away with it. It's a test. This group, they didn't know they were being tested. 
Some of these people didn't know they were being tested and they are finding out the hard way. Some of them are going to find out the hard way. There is someone in here that is going to lose every loved one that they have before they pass away. And that is karma in of itself. It's that you wanted to cause this person loss. You are going to experience loss after loss after loss after loss. But at the time this person is old, they will be like numb. Like they'll be expecting death. They said, my daughter passed away. My son is going to pass away. I'm pretty sure my sister is next. I'm pretty sure my brother is next. I'm pretty sure this person is next. And by that time, it's like their heart, their heart is going to be numb because they just won't have room to cry anymore. But the memories of these people will be in their head. And then top of that, with the memories of everything they did to other people to cause them losses. That is karma. Source is the best as taking revenge out on other people. So do not ever go out of your way to take matters into your own hands because the universe has it set up in a way where they never get away with it. If they want to steal from you, let them steal. Let them steal. They want to smear your name, let them smear your name. It's not going to make you lose any sleep. It's not going to cause you no loss. Most of the people they're talking to are people you don't even know, people you don't have nothing to do with, people you don't care about, people that don't make a difference whether you hear from them or you don't hear from them. And if you care about these people, their characters are being exposed to you. That is how you need to see things. Let these people do what they want to do. Two. Someone here, honey, they're going through it. They are going through it. Some of these people are going through their karma now, and others are going to be going through it later. And this is not just a one, two, three, bam, karma is over. This is one thing after another. And these people thought they had gotten away with something. You did not. You did not. Someone is disappointed because they advocated for someone to be pulled out of a home. For someone to be pulled out of a home. Someone didn't even know what they were partaking in. It's like someone either came and offered them money or convinced them, manipulated, ma manipulated them very well. And they supported you being pulled out of a home, you losing your job, you losing your car, you losing everything that had to do with your stability. Now they want to be in some type of relationship with you. They cannot. Because how do you come to someone and tell them, hey, I advocated for you to be pulled out of your home. I partner up with people to have you on a life. But now I, I'm a changed man or I'm a changed woman and I want to be in a relationship with you. Excuse me? You partner up with these people? My friend, you're where you belong. This is a toxic group. This is a coven. This is a coven. Stay calm when these people come to worship because someone will be coming to worship with information. Stay calm. Stay absolutely calm. The trick of the enemy is to, to have us feel like we've lost something. You have not. You didn't lose nothing. Things are still moving in your favor. You absolutely did not lose nothing. Someone in here is a religious character, either a priest, a bishop, a pastor, this person went under. What I mean he went under is that he joined forces with these people. Someone betrayed you. Someone fell from grace. Someone said they were a pastor. They were in the upright. They accepted some type of bribery to do you something. Either violate your privacy. These people could have been trying to get into your phone for a long time, but they couldn't get into it. And you had some type of connection with this religious person and he gave them access to your phone but this is someone when you see them they act, i'm telling you someone was paid someone was paid someone was paid to get into someone's phone grant access to another person's phone and he did it maybe the money was good someone thought they were just doing nothing it was like they didn't think it was a big deal 
And if you are a religious person, how can you think that's not a big deal? Giving access to someone's phone to another person. What if someone did that to you? This is uh, the other person is sitting, watching everything you watch, listening to your conversations, intercepting conversations, rerouting text messages, rerouting uh, emails and things of that nature. This is what a lot of you have been going through and you didn't know. You just think, oh, no one is emailing me. No one is calling me. No, someone is trying to get in contact with you. But there is a reason why there is all of this interference and this is divine interfe intervention. These people that are trying to get in contact with you, they're probably not meant to get in contact with you at all or right now. Because some of these institutions that you are supposed to be a part of, there are biggest in these institutions and the source is working on removing these people from these companies before you can arrive. Because if they are there and you arrive, they're going to make your life a living hell. So your enemies are helping you. They are helping you. Some of these people didn't know they were being tested and they drank the Kool-Aid. Oh yes, let's do this to her. She is not worthy of this position. He is not worthy of this position. He's mentally retarded and she is mentally retarded. And whoever is testing them is just sitting back, looking at them, causing conflicts. And they're like, really? And whoever left you, whatever they left, whether it's a position or whoever wants to be with you, they know your character to the T. They know you are someone of high moral standards. They know you to a T. And they're testing all of these people and every single one of them fail. There is a leader of an organization who either passed away or is passing away and he left something to someone and these people he trusted them to give you what he left you and they all went haywire because they saw the amount or they saw the property this person was leaving you and they got greedy so instead of them giving you what was left to you they instead came together and came up with a plan to give it to someone else that is exactly like them malicious thieves They've been keeping your property, your inheritance secretly. They don't want you to have it because they know you're not going to share it with them or you're going to use it to make some type of change in the world. They're like, who cares about making change in the world? I just want my fancy things in life. Okay? This is how shallow and unqualified these types of people are. I have to keep checking my phone because I have people that mess with my phones when I'm recording. My battery will be at 50%. All of a sudden, it'll say low battery. And I'm like, wait, this sucker is at 50%. <laughs> How is it low battery? Or they will just, you know, jump in in the middle of me recording. Sometimes they'll just end the recording. It's honey, it's a whole lot going on behind the scenes, but it is what it is. We're going to keep doing our job. Okay. But whoever this leader of this organization is or this owner of this organization is this is someone that was spiritually gifted i'm telling you someone that was spiritually gifted but possibly never told people about it and he knew when he saw you this man or woman probably saw you but you never saw them this is like you working for a huge enterprise company a franchise you never really meet the owner but the owner knows of you on a spiritual level you may have some may have had some type of spiritual contract with this person and these idiots these morons they didn't know that you and this person go past life and i don't mean in a romantic sense but it's like your ancestors had some type of contract with one another and this is why this person chose to leave this inheritance to you this abundance to you so they were fulfilling their end of a contract it was that hey we'll do this work for you but in next lifetime you'll give this to our lineage or something like that so this was this destined to be okay some of you don't realize the people that you are in contact with you have contracts with them there's no one accidental in your life no matter how wicked they are or how kind they are it's not accidental it is all by divine purpose and this person was spiritually gifted, but he didn't tell them. So he knew who you were on a spiritual level. And he honored his end of the bargain, end of the contract, 
But these people, these greedy people are interfering with that. We have the Queen of Wands out here. Lord have mercy. Yeah, she's heartbroken. This is, <laughs> she's heartbroken. She's heartbroken because you're still receiving some type of order. I mean, offer. Order is being brought into this situation. I don't think the world order came out by mistake. Yeah, she's heartbroken because you're healing. Crazy. She's heartbroken because you're healing. Someone caused you a loss and they're disappointed because you didn't sit around to move over it. You're not moving around. You moved on with life. It was like, I'm going to heal. And you did just that. They're angry about that. They want you to be sad, depressed, just like they are. These are these superficial people. You see them, they look happy on the outside, but on the inside, they are dead. They are dead. And I told you, you and this masculine, when you meet, you two will be healed. You two will be healed. What a mess. What a mess. A lot of you are in spiritual warfare. You don't even know it. You're not even going up against lower level in, uh, demons or entities anymore. You're up against principalities. These are demons on a high level. Because you're going to places that only you can dream of. Most people spend their entire life dreaming of these levels in life. The, this level of achievement in life. And you're going to be dealing with principalities. Meaning higher level demons higher level entities that have bigger goals they're trying to take over empires trying to control countries states uh, uh, uh continents and things like that these are the places that you're going and you need to be ready when you get there so that your gift of discernment can help you so you don't partner up with the wrong people because when you get to the places you're supposed to go there may be like maybe two out of ten people that are actually genuine and you have to be so strong in your discernment so that you can know who you need to stay the heck away from who you don't need to share too much with right this is why you're going through all of this chaos is because there's a purpose in that you are being prepped for the next stage of your life so if people want to steal let them steal they're just exposing themselves you're not losing anything that the universe intended for you if someone is able to steal something and keep it, it was not meant for you. But these people cannot keep this Ten of Pentacles, this Nine of Pentacles. You see how you're in progressing? You're going from a Nine of Pentacles to a Ten of Pentacles. They cannot keep it because it's not meant for them. It's meant for you. You're still going to receive it. You need to stick to your past. Stop letting people buy you. This is why a lot of these artists, celebrities are stuck in contracts that they cannot get out of because they were for sale. Someone came and told them, hey, we have $300 million we'll give you if you work with us. Meanwhile, before they got into those contracts, they were making decent money, but they got greedy. They wanted their easy fame, easy success, quick success, overnight fame. And they end up in contracts that a lot of them cannot even openly talk about because the things they have to do for these contracts are unspeakable. They don't do it because they want to, but they don't have a choice. It's like, if you don't do this, I'm going to take your house away. If you don't do this, I'm going to take your car away. If you don't do this, I'm going to have you taken care of. These people are not happy. If you look at a lot of celebrities, they are not happy in the lives that they're living. It's not fulfilling. They're trapped. But we have young folks out here that people are not guiding properly. They think they are born to be celebrities, but they don't understand the burdens that come with that title. This is why a lot of young folks that we used to see in these TV shows, movies, they end up with some type of psychological problem like Lindsay Lohan. You see Justin Bieber. All of these poor kids were misguided, taken advantage of in ways that they should not be taken advantage of. And that is because of greedy people. 
that had ulterior motives. They made something look very blissful, promising, fulfilling, only for these celebrities to find out, oh, I have to do something else. It's not just about talent. My gift is not enough. They want something else. They want my soul. They want this from me. They want that from me. And it wears them out thin very quickly. They don't want anything to do with the industry. But remember, they signed that dotted line and they're stuck until their contract is over. And even when the contract is about to over, those labels, those companies make it absolutely difficult. So when you, when you see your next celebrity that you want to throw judgment at, Maybe think about it that way, that they're trapped in some type of way. Yeah. Anyway, our angel number of the day is two. It said you have great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. I am diplomatic. This is absolutely me. I'm going to take that and I hope you all can apply that to your life as well. I do try to see things from all perspectives. Sometimes I know it's annoying to people that will talk to me and ask me some, for some type of advice, but I feel like it's important to see things from all perspectives. Like don't be one-sided because it's important to hear other people's voice just like it's important to hear your voice. And even if what they are saying does not make sense to you now, it makes sense to them. So just listen, right? So anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in my next video or you'll see me. Stay blessed.